Hello, this is author Deborah Parmley with a Wednesday Words update. And today is October the 10th, 2024. So, so those who don't know me, I will say a few things. I am a disabled author. I live in a motorhome full-time with my husband. And we uh, live in North Carolina right now. I uh, became a North Carolina resident this summer. I have a North Carolina driver's license. Um, I am a disabled author. I cannot drive. I use a walker with wheels on it and a seat. And I go to neural physical therapy two times a week to work with my brain to teach it to make new neural pathways because in 2023, I had a stroke in the balance portion of my brain, which damaged some things. So the physical therapy is going well. It's ongoing. We will not be going to Florida until my physical therapy is completed. So last year we went down in October. Uh, this year we will not be. We will be in North Carolina in November and uh, December. And um, I will still be in Florida for the two author events that I'm scheduled for, um, which we will probably just have to drive down to. Uh, my husband drives me. He's really good at driving me all over. Um, he likes to say he's just the bus driver, but he's so much more than that. I couldn't do what I do without him. Um, so we live in an area of North Carolina, which is about, thinking here, two and a half, maybe three hours from Asheville, where a lot of destruction happened. Um, fortunately, our RV park was spared. We did not have damage or flooding which is good because we're near the Dan River, River, which does flood. And earlier this year, we had evacuated because we were advised to because of danger of flooding. So um, it was a, a great relief that we did not have the trouble that Asheville has had, which is just horrendous. Um, so people that have had disasters are constantly in my prayers and the people who are in Florida with another hurricane coming are in my prayers. And so taking a moment for that. I do have good news, which I just heard yesterday. I finally have an MRI. It's been difficult getting one, but I have one. UNC has been great. I don't see a neurologist until December the 9th, and so like I say, it's ongoing. Um, it set things back for me as far as writing and words. So what happens is these uh, PT exercises, they bring on dizziness because we're teaching my brain not to be dizzy. So back when I had the stroke and I came home and I wake up in the morning, it was as if I lived on a pontoon boat, everything going like this all the time. So when you look at something and it's your focal point, let's say there's one of the things they do is they put an X in a post-it note and they put it on the wall. Well, previously, I would look at that X and I'd be sitting perfectly still. The X is moving to me. The X is moving, but the X isn't moving and I'm not moving. So really nothing's moving, but my brain would think it was. And that would go on all day long. So you could see why they didn't want me driving and why I was using a walker and all that, um, which I'm still not driving or, and I'm still using a walker. However, that constant, when I wake up and everything moving, that has stopped. So that's a huge plus. 
And now when I look at that X on the wall, if it's straight across from my nose, if it's straight across from my nose and it's an X on the wall and I sit still and look at it, it is not moving. So I finally have a focal point and that's progress. And this is why I must stay here and continue these physical therapy exercises. So this is good news. Now, this has also affected my ability to write. Um, when I lived in Florida, Florida approved my disability on the first round of hopes to jump through because when they sent me to their doctor, clearly I was disabled, you know, and no one is going to hire you if you have a blood clot in your brain. You, you, you are then a workers' comp possible liability. But nobody's going, even if you could sit at a desk for hours and work, they're not going to hire you with a blood clot in your brain. That's just not happening. So, of course, Florida approved 100% disability. So, that helps some, but I know medical insurance. So, Moving here to North Carolina after trying to get medical appointments even in Florida, I wasn't able to get an MRI or an MRV, and I hadn't had one since a year ago, September. Well, I finally got one this month. This is why this is such good news. And UNC has approved me for their financial aid program, which is awesome because that MRI, I believe, was around $6,000. Well, yeah. Uh, as an author, <laughs> making money as an author, I'm in the red. Okay. Um, I didn't really talk about this when it happened, but um, I had hundreds of people that were wishing me well and praying for me when I was in the hospital for 18 days. But what also happened during that time frame is zero books sold, and I do mean zero. Well, I haven't had that happen since I first started. And my first book came out in ebook in 2008 and in print in 2009. So that was a big shock that I didn't expect when I was finally able to read an email again, which took. So I lost June, July, August, and September to being able to read and answer an email. Uh, it took a while to just get back to things, even though I have my wonderful VA, Melissa, who has kept an eye on things and told me, and I would tell her what to say and, and, and you know how to what, to, what to answer and who to talk to, etc. The thing is, people want to talk to the author Readers want to talk to the author. The readers want the author to be the one who posts, etc., etc. And that's just how it is. But sometimes the author can't. Um, so it's been a huge setback for my writing. Because clearly, if you can't read a line of text, you can't write one either. <laughs> I was listening to audiobooks a lot, and I'll say that being disabled has certainly taught me a lot about my readers who might be disabled, who might only be able to read books by listening to them on audio, who might only be able to read books if they have large print. These things are important. And I don't think that people talk about that often enough. And I don't think that readers are going to say to you, Hey, author, author Jill or author Joe, I can only read large print. Could you bring your books out in large print? Or, oh, I can only listen to audio. Can you bring your books out in audio? We don't hear from those readers, so we don't know. So let's call this my official letting you know, my official letting you have a glimpse of the life of a disabled person and the, the life of a disabled author for sure. But readers out there have challenges to deal with just like I do. 
and they may need different forms of your book. So it just makes sense to try to get your book out there to be as, as sex, ex, accessible to as many people as possible. One thing I've kind of kept off of my videos is my speech. Once in a while, I get stuck on a word. And I'll think red bird, and instead it comes out bird red. Well, I never did that before the stroke. So that's a new thing. Once in a while, the words don't enunciate as well as I used to. Um, I'm told that kind of goes with it. So my Wednesday words today is about being disabled as an author. Um, instead of saying, you know, what am I working on now and what's coming out next, etc., etc., this is what I'm dealing with now and what I'm going through right now. And the thing is, I don't do pity parties. Please don't feel sorry for me. I don't do pity parties. I don't want pity. I just want people to understand that this is how it is so that they can understand other disabled folks. Um, it's my belief that everyone out there is dealing with something or at some point in their life they have dealt with something. It may not be a disability. It may be, let's not say worse than, because there's different kinds of things. In my life, I've had kidney stone. I've had pancreatitis twice. I've had a stroke and been in ICU and in the hospital for 18 days. And this new disability thing. I've had those things. I've lived through a house fire. I've lived through car accidents. There's been a lot of things. There are people in Asheville that have no homes, nothing. It's all gone, but they're still alive. They've been through a trauma, but they're still alive. I think this probably reinforces my belief that no matter what is happening to us, every day we are alive is a beautiful day. And you will hear me say that often. You'll see it on some of my things on the internet. Because I live my life this way on a daily basis. And I am always thankful for things. Every day, no matter what's going on, I'm thankful for things. That's probably the biggest is being alive another day. I'm so glad that you are alive another day and that you've chosen to listen to my video, which is at 13 minutes now, and I need to trim it off soon. Um, things that are probably not coming back is that author Deborah Parmley Facebook page. I think it's gone. They said 180 days, and I think we're at, what, uh, maybe 120 or something. Now, I don't think it's coming back. I have a new Discord. I'm going to do a video once I have it, enough of the graphics and things in there, and I'll set up for my readers. I'll do a video that will teach you all how to join Discord and how to join my group and what kind of fun things we're going to do on there, and I'll share that on YouTube. So that's something to look forward to down the road. I'm going to be doing more videos, um, not just Wednesday Word type ones, but other ones. And... Um, I think this is one way to kind of connect with you guys. So I'd love it if you leave comments to say, hey, I was here, or hey, I liked the video, or just say, hey, wishing you well, or something. Say hum something. Um, I can see the views, but you all are so quiet. <laughs> You're so quiet. Um, and that's okay too, but I love to hear from you. It's nice to connect. On Discord, we'll be able to do audio. So we'll be able to talk. And we'll be able to chat with text and talk. So that'll be cool. And I'll be able to do share videos over there too and stuff. So um, most of the books I've had out this year, well, yeah, all of them. The content had been written previous to my stroke. They're not brand new. Um, I came home and I looked around and I said, oh, hey. 
there's all these things that aren't finished, that aren't published, that either just need some editing or something. So um, I know all of y'all have been waiting for brand new, brand new. I am putting out new books, but they're not brand new, brand new uh, because of that. Writing a brand new, brand new is more of a challenge than writing a, oh, this one was almost done. So it was easier for me to say, okay, this one just needs edited. Okay, let's get it edited and then put it out there. Or this collection of poems. Well, I've been writing poems for years. I have piles of them. I actually I have that second anthology I put out this year. I have enough to put a third one out, and I may do that before the January. I'm not sure yet. Possibly. Because they're written, it's just a matter of putting them together and having a cover put on it and an ISBN number. And, you know, I have a formatting program that does that. Vellum. Uh, yeah. And so, um, let's see. Um, newsletter. I'll put the link below. The three best ways, no, four best ways now to keep up with me and not have social media block things that I share or shut my page down or if you sign up to hear or see something, I want you to hear, see, or read the thing you signed up for and not have someone blocking it. Or, you know, I don't even know why they blocked the Facebook page. I don't post political stuff. I don't post, I don't write erotic stuff. There's nothing of bad content. There's nothing, there's no content I share that someone under 18 can't see. So I don't really get the whole thing, but apparently there are people out there that will attack your page if you have a lot of followers and that page had 4.3 thousand. So I'm going to put the links below for my website and my newsletter and my discord. You already have my YouTube right here. All you have to do is click subscribe and you'll know when I put a new one out. Um, if I miss on a Wednesday, it's because I have an appointment. And like I said, I have had some appointments lately. A recent one was an MRI, so it was a good reason to miss posting a Wednesday Word video. And now I have that good happy news to share. So, gosh, I mean, I can't believe it. It took over a year to get a new one. Um, of course, I'm waiting on the neurologist to tell me what all it says, which, unless they move that appointment up, is set for December the 9th. So I have a little ways to wait. Um, but I will let you know what the neurologist says and how PT is going. And I'll probably focus on more on book stuff from here on out. Um, but I wanted everyone to know, first of all, that we're in North Carolina, but we're okay. And secondly, about my health updates and that I'm doing my therapy so I can hopefully heal my brain. Um, and... Uh, but even though my page was, page was taken down on Facebook, that you can find me these other places that we will not be cut off and be disconnected. I don't have any way of reaching those 4.2 thousand people unless they find me somewhere else. We're cut off. So um, whoever decided to attack my page and take it down did a real number, a real number. And it's why I don't trust Facebook anymore and won't rely on it like I did before kind of wish I hadn't relied on it as much as I had. Um, I'm going to try to learn how to do some reels, those short videos that can get shared like on Instagram and TikTok and YouTube and all the places because all the places seem to take reels so I'm going to be playing around with that. So you're going to see more video from me and uh, if you have any suggestions of things you'd like me to talk about and share, please let me know. This is going to be a 20 minute video. I'm capping it off at that because uh, we're at 19 minutes now. Um, please do let me know. Also, if there are any particular books you would like me to finish next, please let me know. And uh, I'll have an update next week on my website and the store there, which I've had some problems putting the store there. And um, uh, just to fair, various where you can find my books. I'm going to, next week's just going to focus on where you can get my books, like Kobo in Canada and 
indie bookstores can order them. And uh, draft to digital is where my books go through that to go to libraries. You can get them at libraries. And uh, I'm going to talk a little bit more about where my books are available and in what formats so that you can get them. All right. So happy reading. Love y'all. Wishing you a beautiful day and reminding you that every day that we are alive is a beautiful day.